In this video, we're going to demonstrate how to install the camera into the housing. Before you install the camera into the housing, you want to make sure that you have the correct extension tubes and ports for the particular lens that you want to use. Also, because these housings are custom housings, you want to make sure that the housing that you're operating has the, uh, the room for the battery. In this case, this particular housing is designed to be compact so there's no room to install the battery on the camera and the camera is powered over the ethernet so we're going to remove the battery first next we're going to open up the housing by pressing on to the latch locks on the side of the housing these locks uh, prevent the latches uh, from opening accidentally. So while pressing on them, you will want to leave the lever and open up the, the latches. Once the latches are open, you can slide the back out and put to the side. Next, we want to remove the camera fixture plate and the way you would do this is by pressing on to the fixture plate assembly and removing the fixture plate. The fixture plate slides on a, a set of pins and locks in place once pushed in. You can hear the clicking sound indicating that the fixture plate is engaged with the locking mechanism. The fixture plate has one locating pin and one quarter 20 screw. The locating pin goes into the Panasonic BGH-1 uh, pin location hole on the camera. This will allow it to align the quarter 20 holes. Next, you want to tighten the, the screw using a, a coin or a large uh, flathead screwdriver. In this case, we're just going to do this by hand. But the idea is you want to make sure that this is tight and the fixture plate is aligned square with the camera itself. There's a little bit of play there, but you want to make sure that is um, square. You can use your eye to uh, square it up. Once this is done, don't forget to remove the lens cap. You carefully place the camera into the housing. Sometimes it's better to lift up the housing like this. sliding the fixture plate. Once the fixture plate is clicked in place, the housing can be sealed up. Notice that there is also two additional alignment pins on the back. These are to facilitate the alignment of the the back half of the housing to the front half of the housing. Uh, a, lot of our, a lot of our housings are supplied with a leak detection system and vacuum valve. Uh, we will provide a link in the description of the video to where you can get the operating, um, 
operating uh, procedure for for using those accessories but the idea is that you want to uh, seal up the housing with vacuum to make sure that there's no leaks before you go diving there's only one o-ring on this housing and you want to inspect the o-ring and apply lubricant as necessary as the o-ring dries up once the housing is sealed there's no need to open up the uh, the housing because the housing is a remote housing all the functions and everything can be controlled remotely and because it's powered over ethernet there's no need to replace the battery or any of that so you can once the housing is sealed up with the correct port size and the uh, extension tubes there's no need to open the housing up so inspect the o-ring and uh, once you put the back on you want to align the pins This concludes the uh, demonstration video for installing the camera into the Panasonic BGH-1 housing.